Hey, this is Matthew Butler. Welcome to this short tutorial on how to use this project file, I love you. Um, so what you do is you open it up in After Effects and you'll be presented with this 01 and 02 file um, composition. And you just open up 01 first and it just says input logo or type. And that's obviously what you do. So right now I have the type on. So all you need to do is retype whatever you want to say. Let's say it says, hello world. And obviously, hello world is definitely too large to fit in here. So what I would need to do was scale it down and resize it a little so it would fit into this white box here. And once it's good, and ready you can hop over to the O2 and it'll automatically pop up. Now sometimes depending on how your type is laid out you might have a rose petal inside a part that makes it very hard to read. What you would do is either open up the position of this orange layer and move that over or move that up and down here. Um, but what I would recommend doing is just re-align um, your type in here to better fit. And there, perfect. Um, then also if you're using a logo you would just turn this layer off or delete it. And I have this temporary logo in here just to give you an idea of what I did for the preview animation. I just made a quick uh, two frame transparency on and off at the beginning. And uh, yeah, so that's there for reference for you. Um, and then finally, uh, we got the camera mode in here. Um, and then the rose petals over the top. If you don't want those to be over the top of your logo, let's say you're, for branding purposes, you don't want it over the top of the um, actual logo itself, you can easily just turn that layer off and you'll have just the logo there and you won't have any petals over the top of it. Finally, um, if you notice there is audio, um, in the preview, if you wanted to get that, it's in a link is included to um, to buy the audio, um, and then to bring it into After Effects, you would just want to go to the 121st frame of that and cut it there, and then just do an audio levels ramp up from negative 48 to zero and then it'll sound exactly like it does in the preview. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.